Imagine waking up one morning and realizing your computer knows more about you than your closest friends. Every click, every document, every website, all quietly recorded, analyzed, and sent off to massive data centers you'll never see. It sounds like a dystopian sci-fi movie, but it's actually the digital world most of us live in today. In this video, we're diving deep into the battle for your digital privacy. Linux Mint versus Windows. Which one truly respects your personal data, and which one quietly turns your life into a product? By the end of this showdown, you LL know exactly which operating system deserves your trust, and which one you might want to leave behind for good. Let's start with the system almost everyone knows Windows. Microsoft's operating system has been the backbone of personal computing for decades. It's powerful, polished, and familiar. But beneath that glossy interface lies a truth many users never fully confront. Windows collects a lot of data. From telemetry logs to diagnostics, from personalized advertising to synchronized settings across devices. Windows is built on an ecosystem designed to know you, sometimes better than you know yourself. When you first set up Windows, you're greeted with a friendly, modern interface asking for your Microsoft account. It's convenient, it connects your emails, your OneDrive, your browsing history, your search habits, even your game saves. But this seamless integration comes at a cost. It centralizes your entire digital identity under one corporate roof, where every action becomes a boo point, even if you dive into privacy settings and disable telemetry. The truth is, there's no guaranteed off switch. Microsoft's own documentation admits that certain data types, like security and system health metrics, are collected whether you agree or not. And then comes the opt-out fatigue. Windows 11, for instance, hides privacy, toggles behind multiple menus, sometimes labeling them in ways that make them sound essential. You can spend hours turning things off, yet still wonder if the system is quietly talking to Redmond behind your back. Personalized ads, content recommendations, location history, they all feed into Microsoft's massive analytics engine. And while the company insists it's to improve user experience, it's hard to ignore the bigger picture. User data has become currency, and in this economy, privacy is expensive. Now, let's turn our attention to the quiet challenger in this story, Linux Mint, born out of the open source movement. Mint represents a radically different philosophy. Transparency, user control, and community-driven development. There's no corporation tracking your every move, no hidden data pipeline, and no secret telemetry buried in system files. What makes Linux Mint special is that its source code is completely open for anyone to inspect. If something suspicious were ever added, the community would see it instantly. That level of transparency simply doesn't exist in Windows. Linux Mint doesn't ask for your personal data during installation. You don't need to sign in to any online account to use it. And there are no pop-ups begging you to connect your device to a corporate network. The system collects practically zero user telemetry by default. 
Every part of Mint, from updates to system logs, is under your control. Want to update manually? Go ahead. Want to remove software you don't trust? You can in Linux Mint, you decide what happens on your computer. But the real magic is in its community. Unlike Microsoft's corporate hierarchy, Linux Mint thrives on open collaboration with privacy-conscious developers, cybersecurity experts, and everyday users continuously review, test, and improve the system. That means privacy ISNT. Just an afterthought, it's built into the very foundation of the OS, and with access to a huge library of open source tools like Firefox, Brave, and privacy hardened VPNs, Mint gives you everything you need to stay anonymous online. Still, privacy in the real world isn't only about what the operating system collects. It's about how it handles modern digital threats. Browser fingerprinting, ad tracking, software permissions, these affect everyone. Windows users often rely on third-party software to block trackers or clean cookies. But even then, Microsoft's Edge browser quietly collects telemetry tied to your system ID. Linux Mint users, on the other hand, can switch to browsers like Firefox, ESR, or Brave, or both of which respect user privacy by default and integrate tightly with open source ad blocking software permissions tell another story. On Windows, many apps install with administrative privileges and can access your data folders unless you explicitly deny them. Some even run background services you can't easily disable. Linux Mint flips this entirely. Applications are sandboxed where possible and permission control is strict. You must authorize almost every change to your system. That might feel inconvenient at first, but it's actually one of the strongest defenses against spyware and data leaks. Then there's the question of government data requests and corporate compliance. Microsoft is a US-based company subject to data disclosure laws and international surveillance agreements. If a government agency requests access to user data, Microsoft has to comply. Linux Mint, however, has no central authority to subpoena. There's no single server storing your usage history. Your data lives on your machine and nowhere else. That's not to say Linux Mint is perfect. Privacy also depends on the user's behavior. If you sign into Google services or social media platforms, even Linux can't protect you from corporate tracking. But here's the difference. Linux gives you the tools and control to fight back, while Windows quietly works against you in the background. So how do you make an informed decision? It comes down to what you value most, convenience or control. Windows offers seamless integration, polished design, and access to almost every mainstream app. But you trade your privacy for that ease of use. Linux Mint, on the other hand, demands a little patience and curiosity, but rewards you with unparalleled digital independence. It doesn't sell your data. It doesn't track you. It doesn't assume ownership of your personal life. If privacy truly matters to you, Linux Mint isn't just an alternative, it's a statement. It says you value transparency over profit and control over convenience.
but even if you decide to stick with windows, there are still steps you can take to protect yourself. It disabled telemetry in the settings. Avoid signing into your Microsoft account when unnecessary. Use privacy-focused browsers and encrypted communication tools. Small actions can still make a big difference. Ultimately, this showdown ISNT just between two operating systems. It's about the future of your digital self. Do you want to live in a world where your behavior is constantly tracked and sold, or one where you own your data and your freedom? The choice is yours. And now I want to hear from you. Are you Team Windows, trusting the convenience and ecosystem Microsoft offers? Or are you ready to switch to Linux Mint and reclaim your privacy once and for all? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone you know who values digital freedom. Your privacy journey starts with awareness, and maybe, just maybe, with installing Linux Mint tonight.